Felicia Gath. I'm one of the district ed tech facilitators. I support the North region of the district. And today I'm going to show you how to create a screencast using Loom. Before you get started, we wanna make sure that you actually have the Chrome extension uh, that will give you access to Loom. So you would have to go to the Chrome store. And once you go into the Chrome web store, you would select Loom, L-O-O-M. Uh, once you have added that extension to your device, then you would log in using your Google login and password. And also make sure that you give access to your device camera as well as your microphone so that you're able to be seen as well as heard. Um, again, Loom is a screen recorder, so it will record uh, what's on your screen as you are doing an audio uh, explaining what's on your screen. And so this is a very useful tool, especially when it comes to virtual or online learning. So let's get started. The first thing that we would need to do is we would go to the right side where it says record a video. We will click on record a video. So before we start recording our video, we want to make sure that we set up our recording. The first thing I want to be able to do is to determine whether or not um, what I want my screen to look like. And so I could choose to do screen and camera, which will show a live uh, version of myself. You see it in the very bottom corner, or I can do screen only and it gives you like a bitmoji or avatar version of yourself you would have to determine what that would look like um, so it's not something that it automatically does so you would have to add that extension or identify yourself with some type of an icon or you could do camera only which allows the your webcam or your camera on your device to show a video of just you. And so there won't be a screen in the background. And then what you can do is you can make your window as big as you would like it to be. I'm gonna go to my uh, screen only and show you how I can move my avatar around. I can click the X. I can take it off if I decide that I want it back. Then I can come back and say, I want my avatar back. Um, I can also um, decide whether or not I want you as the participants to see my full screen or if I just want you to see the current tab with the full screen you will be able to see not only what I have on this particular tab but other tabs that I have open and if I were to click on one of those tabs you would also be able to see what is being shown on that tab as well so what I'm going to do is just because I like to toggle back and forth, I'm going to keep it on full desktop. Um, I can also uh, make sure here I have my microphone set on default uh, internal microphone. So it automatically will pick up the device uh, microphone. The next thing that I would do is I will click my start recording button um, before you go on, you have one more step. You would have to decide if you want to show your entire screen again, if you just wanted to show a window or a particular Chrome tab. But I'm gonna select the entire screen and I'm going to click share. It gives you a countdown before it actually goes into the recording to give you the opportunity to be able to start recording. If you look down here by my avatar, I have um, 
You can see that I'm speaking with a little circle around my head. I have other options that I can do with this recording. If I decide, oh, I made a mistake, I can cancel my recording to start over. Let's say that I get stuck somewhere um, or I need to look for something, but I don't want to start all the way over. I can pause. And then once I am ready to start back, I can unpause it or I can finish my recording so that I can receive a link that I can share my recording with in, uh, whomever I want to share it with. It also has a timer to let you know how long your video is based on uh, a time frame. If you want to say, I just wanted to uh, give them like a five minute video. I usually always go over my time frames because I'm a chatty Kathy, but um, you have those options. And then even here, I can hide my menu or open my menu right back up. So there are just different things. And like I said, you can move your avatar around um, so that it's not blocking any pertinent information. So once I have completed my video, I will go to my uh, check where it says finish recording. And it is going to upload my video and then it's going to give me an opportunity to look back at my video and to do some editing. So I can say that I may want to trim my video. And so I just want to show certain parts of it or I want to cut off a part of it, then I can trim it as well. There are so many great features that Loom has and it's so easy to use. We will be providing additional information about screencasting in our video series. So we hope that you will join us and start using Loom because it will become a lifesaver. Uh, if you have any questions, don't hesitate to contact our department. And again, as always, thank you for joining us.